Hey what's up guys this is Sohan and you are watching Technical Spark Friends in today's video I am going to demonstrate WSUS which means Windows Server Update Service This will be a very detailed video and after this you will be able to independently install WSUS service on your Windows Server step by step Guys this video is completely on demand because few of you guys requested me to prepare video on Microsoft WSUS So here we are so friends very first let's check out the preview make sure on your windows server you have assigned static ip address as well as make sure that your server is installed with latest updates if it's not then there is a chances that your installation may fail so currently my few of the updates are pending so let's click on install meanwhile let me demonstrate the other things as you can see this my system is currently part of domain controller as well as let me show you through which user currently i am logged in for that command is who am I and here it is currently I am logged in with my domain administrator account and my server version is Windows Server 2022 apart from that you have configured correct time zone in which you are staying so I am in India hence I have selected plus 530 UTC and apart from that there is nothing you will have to do other than allowing the WSUS URLs which is available on the internet just search Microsoft WSUS required URL and once you allowed on your firewall you are done now friends meanwhile my updates are getting installed let's go through one small intro video and after that we'll continue with our WSUS installation welcome back guys as you can see my all updates has been successfully installed to my this windows server so always keep in mind you must update your server with the latest windows updates and restart your pc before installation of your wsus service so we are done now what we have to do simply go to the manage and then adds roles and features click on next 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 and now under server roles scroll all the way down and here you will have to select windows server update service and when you tick this web server iss will automatically get selected let me show you Take this and here we go web server is is automatically getting selected along with the required features so click on add features both are selected now click on next here you don't have to do anything in that in the feature selection simply click on next since we have selected windows server update service that's the reason here we got the configuration options so click on next Guys, here I am not going to install separate SQL Server. That's why we are going with the WID connectivity. So it basically installs or let's say create one database that will be used by WSUS. And this is our actual service. If in case you are planning for a larger environment, then I'll suggest to go with this particular option instead of WID connectivity. Now click on next. Now here we'll have to provide one path where our all downloaded updates or let's say patches is going to be saved. Let's go to the file explorer. And under PC, you could see that I have allocated 100 GB space to my C drive. And for D drive, it's almost 400 GB. So it's completely depend on you how much patches you want to hold on your this particular shared folder. Accordingly, you can assign your path to that particular store location. So here we are going to create one new folder. Let's call it as a WSUS underscore repository. Open this folder and now we'll have to copy this path copy go back to our content screen paste the path and click on next again next here also you don't need to do anything simply click on next tick this box restart the destination server automatically if required review all the configurations and then hit install and if you monitor this particular directory then after some time you will find there are two, one, two folders will automatically get created here Perfect. Installation succeed on wsu.technicalspart.com and now it says configuration required. But unfortunately, there is no folder created here. I guess uh, the folders will be created in next stage. So for now, what we will do? If we click on this particular flag, then you will notice that feature installation has been successful, but the con configuration is required. So that this particular configuration you can directly launch from here, or here is the one option. Which we, admit, which we get and I will prefer 
to proceed from this particular option. So click on this launch post instruction task and you will observe post deployment configuration has been begun. Okay, great. Now this particular uh, post configuration task has been created to two folders in our WSUS repository. What is inside that? This is empty and in this, this is also empty but it will put some file automatically. Let's monitor this. Perfect. Post deployment configuration task has been successfully completed and here we got the prompt. Configuration successfully completed. Review all the settings and click on close. Let's check out the flag. Everything is successfully installed. Now friends, go to the search bar and type IIS because this is the very first thing we'll have to do after introduction of services and make sure that your this particular WSUS local host service has been started. So currently my start option is grayed out which means this is successfully started. Now close the IIS, go to the tools and here we'll have to select Windows Server Update Service to proceed with our further installation. But before that, let's check if there is any folder created. Okay, here's one file is created. Now, let me minimize this. Click on next. Would you like to join Microsoft Update Improvement Program? This is my test server, so I'm not interested. But yeah, you can choose yes if you want. Click next. Synchronize from Microsoft Update. And second is synchronize from another Windows Server update service. So guys, basically if you have multiple WSU server in your organization, in, in that situation if you choose first option, then all servers will go to the internet to download the updates. But if you already have any uh, update server in your environment, then you can choose this second option and enter that server of your details here. So that this particular WSU server will try to download the or try to page the updates from your that parent server. So this is how you can minimize the requirement of internet and your WSU server will distribute the updates internally. But since this is my first server, so I am choosing this option. Synchronize from Microsoft update. Click on next. If you have proxy, then you can specify the details here. Your proxy IP or name here and then if it is required credential, then enter those. In my scenario, this is open internet, so no proxy is required. Click next. Guys, here we'll have to click on start. And this process will take, let's maybe 10-15 minutes or sometime one hour. So be patient because it's completely depend on your internet. And don't click on stop or anything. You will only face issue when your Windows server is not updated with the latest updates. So as I said earlier, make sure your Windows server is patched. Meanwhile, let me fast forward this video. So friends, our process has been completed and it took somewhere around 10 minutes in my environment and my internet speed is 100 Mbps. And friends, in this process, it basically check types of updates available as well as products that can be updated and available language. So it downloads all the information which we are going to see in our next uh, slide. So click on next. So this is the information which this particular process has downloaded. So currently by default it's selected English. So yeah, I know English and other language I didn't understand. So let's leave it. But yeah, if you are in different country and you require Chinese, Arabic or something else, then you can choose that. Once you are done, click on next. And these are the all softwares, you know, information which previous process has downloaded. So here we'll have to select our services or let's say product which you want to download. So for now, let me fast forward this video and select what I really want. And very important, do not select all. Otherwise, it can take very long time to synchronize and download all the updates to your Windows Server. And accordingly, your this particular portal size will grow. Okay, so make sure that you are very careful about this. Do not select all. Otherwise, 400 GB will be short for you. And after that, you will again and again have to increase the display space. So 400 GB is enough for me now. Let me go choose some more files. Windows is automatically selected. So I have untick this and let's download what is what we actually required. 
instead of downloading everything so i guess we are good i have selected what i really wanted now click on next yeah and one more thing you can you know uh, select untick these options later on it's nothing like it's a permanent one time selection you can always modify this now what i need is security updates updates yeah update rollups and this information is enough for me but yeah it's again depend on you for what purpose you are down you know configuring the resources accordingly you can choose your classifications click on next synchronize manually or uh, let me select synchronize twice a day first synchronization will begin at 20 and then here i'll mention zero again here zero whether you need your synchronization per day two times or every hour for that you will have to select 24 hours so two is fine for me it will try to synchronize every 12 hours now click on next if you want your synchronization to be begin you can tick this particular box and then click on next and finish and here we go our WSUS has been configured let me close this but back side window maximize this let's click on WSUS and as you can see here the synchronization process is going on and here is a percentage expand this updates what is inside this all updates critical updates security updates WSUS updates so once our update has been downloaded it will show up here under computers right now we don't have any android computers so it won't show anything downstream server so this is my server synchronization this is succeed and the second one is running reports options so here we have lots of information and guys as i said earlier here you can select your products which you want to download right and here are the classification you can always modify this as per your requirement but right count now the synchronization is going on so i'm not doing anything and rest of the things will cover in our next video so if you are new on my channel then please click on subscribe button and enable the bell notification so that whenever i'll upload new video you will be very first to notify and if you found this video useful then click on like button so that's it in this video this is sohan signing out i'll catch you in the next wsu series video till then bye bye